Coming up on this episode of The Flare, we will feature five word seniors giving words of encouragement to our sixth graders, information on the Social Reform Club, your daily sports report, and more. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The vision of Dural Academy Charter Middle High School is to set the standard for outstanding student achievement while providing a safe and nurturing academic environment. Good morning, Fibers. My name is Maria Ricardes. And I'm Annabella Abdullah. Today is August 29, 2023, and the flare starts, starts now. hurricane's really picking up. Thankfully, Ryan Allerman has us covered with today's weather report to keep you updated on all the latest developments. Good morning, Fibers. My name is Ryan Allerman, here with today's weather report. Today, don't be afraid to bring out your umbrellas because it's going to be a rainy one. Temperatures will be ranging from a high of 91 to a low of 72. The humidity level will be at 78%, making today's overall temperature at 92 degrees. This wet weather will not be lasting for that long, expected to leave us on Wednesday. I'm Ryan Alamon, reporting. The fifth season of Dural Academy's very own podcast, The Nest, is welcoming us back with its first episode. The Nest not only focuses on school-related topics, but also everything to do with music, social media, and much more. If you would like to tune in, you can listen through Spotify or Apple products. Since the beginning of our journey at Dural, we've always found it helpful to find someone older to show us the ropes of the school. Here's our very own Firebird Seniors giving some helpful advice to our 6th graders entering this new school year. Hi, how are you? I'm good, and you? Uh, I'm good. What's your name? Uh, Gianna. Uh, I'm good. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Good. How's your senior year been so far? I'm doing fantastic. It's been going good. Are there any, like, is there any, um, like, advice you would give me for um, going into high school? Yeah, um, there's a couple of things I tell you. Uh, pay attention in class, right? Don't fall asleep. Do your homework. Don't procrastinate. <laughs> Try to be responsible. Get good notes. <laughs> That's what matters. I can't really do it. You know, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to put yourself on the spot. Mm -hmm. uh, you shouldn't be afraid of being wrong because more often than not, a lot of people are also wrong about what they think or they're confused or lost. So, yeah, just don't be afraid to ask questions. How would you, like, figure out your interests and stuff like that? In order to figure out your interests, I think it's important to recognize that you can't kind of, you know, see them from an outside point of view. You know, you're window shopping, right? Mm -hmm. But you won't really know whether you like it until you actually do it. Yeah, you know? you try it out. Exactly. So maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't, but there's there's nothing wrong with, with trying something new and leaving it. It's just, you know, you're trying it. Mm -hmm. What would you say was like a motto that you followed throughout high school? I mean, uh, a motto that I always followed was like, I always like speak my emotions, like especially like with my friends. Like I always tell them when I'm frustrated, when I'm happy. I feel like that level of communication is always like what kept my friendships like the best. And what advice would you give to like upcoming like ninth graders? For upcoming ninth graders, I'd honestly like tell you to talk to your teachers more. Like honestly, you're not gonna love all your teachers, but if you start to know them a little bit more personal, um, you'll definitely like them a lot more. It's definitely happened with a lot of my teachers. Like I won't be doing good in their class, but like I'll love them as a person. Do you have any advice for me as a senior going into college? Um, I say like live your life because you're only going to be in college one time and like that's it. So I say go to all the parties you can, make all the friends you can and make sure to like do your work but also enjoy the time that you have there because college I feel like is such a special experience because either if you're leaving like you're going to be out on your own and like you can figure stuff out, you could try out new things and like I just say enjoy it while you can because now you're in high school, you're with your parents and stuff. And it's kind of like branching out into the real world for the first time, but like slowly, step by step. Thank you. That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> Personally, I think those sixth graders got some great advice for their future years in high school. 
Speaking of the future, here's the latest upcoming announcements to keep you updated on what's to come. Club applications are officially open for Green Club, C Club, Spanish Honor Society, NHS, and the Science Honor Society. If you are interested in any of the following clubs, make sure to follow their social media pages to stay updated about application deadlines. Seniors, the deadline for recommendation letters have officially been released. While public universities do not require a letter, private schools do request one to two letters. Make sure to ask your teacher three weeks prior to any application deadline. With all the various clubs Doral has to offer, it's nice to be able to get an in-depth look into what each has to offer. Here's Valentina Torres with information on our social school reform club. Doral Academy Social Reform Club is a club interested in promoting change in our communities and culture interested in building a strong group of people who can make a change. So this year we're looking forward to hosting a bunch of new different drive opportunities. So we want to tackle a different big umbrella issue every month. And then throughout that month we're going to have different events and different opportunities to volunteer in the community. We're expecting to have speakers come to the school and that's what we're really working on in the club. So members can join in and they can bring all their suggestions, all their ideas, and I think it will be a really fun time. I think that people should join social reform not only for the chance to make a positive change in your community, but to bond with people in your age group and meet people that are interested in the same things as you. So for instance, last year we had the Human Trafficking Task Force here from Miami-Dade County come to our school and they gave a seminar on the awareness and the great part about this is that it was police officers, it was trained law enforcers coming to our school. These professionals were giving us resources to educate us on things that we might not really take note of in our day-to-day -day lives. Learn a lot about uh, current events and issues that we have in our world that we're not really exposed to a lot of the time throughout the curriculum and throughout our classes, but we are talking about it within our peers all the time, like during lunch, doing something, and social reform gives you a place to do that and really learn and talk and discuss a lot of these issues that you may have questions about. I think something that makes social reform stand out is that obviously we have our board members, we have like our order of things, but at the same time, it's a club where it's really everybody working together for one common goal, and that is the betterment of society. So everybody is constantly researching and working together, and it really does feel like a team that wants to work for the betterment of society. When it comes to fall sports, it can be very hard to stay updated on all the different events and scores. Luckily, Marco Garcia has you covered with today's update of our school's athletic news. Good morning, Firebirds. I'm Marco Garcia, bringing you today's sports report. Yesterday, our girls' volleyball team played Pace High School, winning 3-1 in their second game of the season. Good job, Lady Firebirds. Today, our boys' and girls' golf team will play against Hialeah Gardens at the Grand Palms Golf Course. Our varsity football team will be playing Palm Glades Prep on our home field this Thursday, so make sure to get your tickets and come support our team. That's all for today's sports report. Once again, I'm Marco Garcia. Now, back to our anchor. Thank you, Marco. And on that note, that's all for today, Firebirds. Make sure to follow us on all our social medias at Firebird TV, and we hope you have a, a terrific, terrific Tuesday. Tuesday.